thank you for being here. Uh, the number of people that came uh, uh, surpassed our expectations for chairs. We apologize for that, but I'm delighted. It was uh, just before winter break, and uh, when my phone rings at midnight or two in the morning, it's never good news. And that's been across my career. Uh, one time I got a call at two in the morning and security at the campus that I worked on said, oh, Mr. President, a building's fallen into a hole. And I thought someone was playing a joke on me. But Menard Hall had indeed fallen into a hole. Um, this particular call was much more serious. And it had to do with a student who um, was being rushed to the hospital and they figured she wouldn't survive, and she did not. We've had several of these circumstances this year, and I thought it time that we have a conversation about it. So today, uh, I'm gonna say a few things, and Jay Pace is gonna say a few things, and Randy Ludeman's gonna say a few things, and then we want you to say a few things. Uh, I have some questions. You may have some questions that you wanna uh, talk about. Alcohol use is a very serious event. It's, it's covariates. Uh, one of the most common covariates is inappropriate sexual behavior. And, and I don't want to sound preachy, folks. I, I'm not, I really don't want to sound preachy. But for the sake of our community, for the sake of communication, and for the sake of letting you know, uh, there are standards. And one standard is nobody dies. Another standard is nobody gets victimized, men or women. And that we need to support each other. Absolutely. And we'll talk a little bit more about that later. And in our, in our attempts to care for each other, we hope we find some solutions for our community. Uh, we know we're not isolated or much different than other communities, except look at the people around you. I think we care. And I want to capitalize on caring for our fellow students and our fellow community members and making sure that this stuff stops. I'm not telling you not to have fun, but I am telling you some of this stuff has to stop. And I, I am standing up here telling you without trying to be too parental about it, this isn't a parental issue. This is an ethical, moral issue. And we have to stop it. So intended outcomes for today, I want you to become more aware of resources and things available for you. Uh, I want you to be more aware of implications for behavior. Uh, perhaps, and I don't know this for sure, but perhaps one of the reasons that Sometimes this behavior slips out of control is that we take it, we approach it much too casually uh, because we're going to have fun. And I'm not saying don't have fun. I've been talking to lots of people and those of us that grew up in the 60s, we had lots of fun. We did. A little different than yours, but similar. But nobody died. It was a little different kind of thing. And then the other intended outcome is that everybody in the room, faculty, staff, and students, we understand our responsibility and do what we can to exercise that responsibility. Now, I used to tell parents when I worked with them, you won't be in the room when your child takes the first shot of whatever that flavored crap is. I'm sorry, but that's one of the differences. Parents, you won't be in the room. Administrators, you won't be there. Faculty, you won't be there. I certainly won't be there. So we have to be able to teach people about decision making and managing your circumstances. Really, really important. And those are some of the um, intended outcomes that I have for today. We at Bemidji State come together uh, and form community. And you need to understand that community brings with it some benefits and it brings with it some responsibilities. I want to talk a little bit today about the BSU community and us 
faculty, staff, students, and how important it is for us to recognize just a few things. And J both Jay and, and uh, Randy addressed a few of them. For example, in healthy communities, most of the time we make good decisions. Now, that's a little bit uh, soft in terms of, well, yeah, we make decisions, but sometimes they're not good, sometimes they are, and, and what's good depends on the eye of the beholder, right? Well, no, there are long-term decisions that we make, sometimes every day, that we need to make sure are guided by principled thinking. Communities are not accidents, they are intentional communities. And within those communities, there are communication structures and values, yeah, values, things that we believe in. For example, and related specifically to our topic today, is accountability. And it starts with me. I am accountable for everything that happens. That's a little bit overwhelming some days, but it, it, it stops with me. But you know, every member of a community, an athletic team, an organization, whatever the community happens to be, every member has to take accountability for his or her action and behavior. And that's what we're calling for today, is to remember the notion of accountability as a fundamental element to our community being successful. Secondly, make sure you understand why. Now, what do I mean by that? I remember a story from uh, many years ago or the first day of class, the professor would come in, deposit his books on the podium and say to the students, why are you here? And at the first day of class, who's going to talk? Nobody. So he waited 10 minutes, picked up his notebook and left. Second time the class met, dropped his stuff on the podium and said, why are you here? Again, no one spoke. And again, he walked out. Eventually, they got it worked out where they answered his question and then he began his process. I'm not recommending that as a pedagogical strategy, by the way. <laughs> Those of you who want to be teachers, don't do that. <laughs> but the point is, in your community and in your interactions, you need to know why. Why doesn't necessarily detract from fun, but it sure helps you understand what's going on. Because a particular thing is available, does that mean that you're involved with that, or do you ask the why question? I think you should always ask the why question. Please do. Why am I here? Why am I getting plastered as fast as I can get plastered with a phenomenon that we didn't have when I was your age, uh, binge drinking? I mean, the goal is to get drunk as quickly as you can. Yeah. That's just not going to work, and it's not acceptable, and you miss the point of the why question. Another characteristic of people in community is that we take care of each other. And depending upon your position in the community, that takes different forms. But please, when these social events occur and things start to happen and materials are made available and people are made available, and yeah, I know all about that stuff. Take care of each other. There are lots of ways to do that. We'll talk about some in just a few minutes. It might mean some kind of mentoring program or some kind of buddy program. It might mean someone who drives. That's a fairly popular one. It might mean other things. Whatever you choose to use, make sure you take care of each other because people in community do that. And part of that, of course, is responsibility. You have a responsibility that, that exists on several levels. You have a responsibility 
to your family, one way or the other. I'm not making any kind of comment on family types and all that. You have responsibility to your community. And that might be, mean a larger community or it might mean a small community like your roommates or your best friends. But you have responsibility. You don't just exist and flit around. You have a meaningful involved role with those people. And then most importantly, you do have responsibility to yourself. I'm not a big believer in, in, in saying, if you do this, this is going to happen and, and you're going to screw up your, your, your life forever. When I was in high school, they used to show us these movies of people squished in car accidents. And the goal was that we drive better. No, the only thing it produced was a few people throwing up from the pictures, but nobody drove any better because no one connected the stimuli with the intended outcome because we were too taken up by the graphic nature of these stupid black and white movies. I wasn't a big fan of them intellectually insulting and educationally poor. Responsibility, though, is important. And part of your journey, part of why you're here, is to gain in confidence in exercising that responsibility. It must carry over to your behavior and to drinking. It has to. So those are my goals. I wanted to make this issue an issue. I wanted people to come together and say, what's going on? Because I've asked that in the last month a bunch of times. What's happening? Why is it happening? And what can we do to, to stop it? I know, and I'm, I'm not naive enough uh, to expect anything else, and I, I know that, that preachy lectures from presidents don't last very long in your head. I know that. But maybe by listening to each other, and listening to Jay, and listening to Randy, but especially each other, we can move one step forward in your quest for responsibility and responsible behavior. Where no one dies and no one's assaulted. We've had those on our campus. See what I'm saying? You're too important to let those things happen. But part of the cure, that may be the wrong word, part of the resolution comes from you taking responsibility for your actions and who you are. Please do so. Now, what we'd like to do with, with Randy and Jay's help is, is have a bit of a conversation. And they're gonna spread out and people uh, will try to get a microphone to you. I, I wanna conclude my regular comments by just mentioning two things very quickly. As part of our follow-up institutionally, we will be developing a task force. One of the things that academics do at, in, in university is that we study things. And we will do that here. Uh, I have a, a rough draft of a charge to a task force along with people that I think would be very good on it. And we're gonna form that in just a matter of days. And they're gonna start meeting. And I'm gonna ask them, the members of that task force, to be very specific in recommending systemic, community-based sorts of solutions. Now, that's a, very, that's a very difficult challenge. And some of you will be on the task force. It'll, it'll be hard work, but we must do this. We must. The other thing that's, that's going to be available very soon, in just a couple of days, uh, is an important survey. Uh, it'll be online. You'll be given notice of it. It'll take uh, a few minutes to complete. It's designed to help us understand what's happening on our campus around issues of drinking, alcohol consumption, some questions about sexual behavior. It's a, it's a well-designed survey that a lot of people have looked at, and it, it will be ready to go in just a little bit. 
uh, please share your opinions on that particular survey. So those are two things that I know are going to happen.